What up, world? Uh, you know what I'm saying? We fin we finna one take this. Um, sports talk for the first time since the Super Bowl. Um, it's it's 2012, 2013 NBA playoffs. My predictions. Um, usually, you know what I'm saying. Recently, when I do sports talk, man, uh, my dog O Pizzle, he uh, you know what I'm saying, he's sitting there right by me. But uh, for now, you know what I'm saying, he uh, he on his way back from Puerto Rico, man. Shout out to my dog O Pizzle, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you you got cake to travel, man. Do what you do, man. See the world and shit. Uh, look over my shoulder, man. Look at my jersey, man. You uh, you see who I'm going for. Um, anybody that know me know where I'm from, man. Indianapolis, Indiana, man. Indiana Pacers, Indianapolis Colts. If you on Twitter, man, hashtag Pacers, bitch. You know what it is. Um, I'm gonna start in the Western Conference, though. I'm gonna go round by round as I do annually, and I'm gonna tell you all my finals prediction. Yet I'm not gonna predict the finals. Here we go. The one eight, the one eight matchup in the Western Conference is the matchup that I'm looking forward to the most. The one seed in the West, Oklahoma City Thunder. The eighth seed, Houston Rockets. As every NBA fan know, James Harden was traded from the Thunder to the Rockets. Uh, pre like literally a week before the season started, con contractual issues and whatnot. Um, it was it was Harden who. Clearly, I mean, the Rockets ain't been to the playoffs in the past two, three years. Uh, Harden, you know what I'm saying? Not Jeremy Lin, motherfucker. James Harden took the Rockets to the uh, to the playoffs. And, um, I mean, he knew what he was doing. He won at OKC first round. And then you got uh, Kevin Durant. You got Russell Westbrook, Serge Ibaka, Kevin Martin, who was in the trade for James Harden, uh, Kendrick Perkins. Um, I, I say OKC has too much firepower, man. I say OKC in five games. Uh, Houston's win will probably be probably be game four to avoid the sweep. Um, the two seven matchup is the San Antonio Spurs and the Los Angeles Lakers, and you know the hype all season was will the Lakers uh dominate, and then it became will the Lakers make the playoffs. Um. Obviously, Kobe is recovering from that uh, Achilles injury. So um, it's upon Dwight Howard. It's upon Pau Gasol. It's upon Steve Nash uh, to try to shock the world and actually proceed. You know what I'm saying? And advance and shit like that. Um, I mean, Tim Duncan played outside of his mind this year when everybody said that he was too old. You got Ginobili. Who who is is injured and healthy than injured? You got Tony Parker who is injured and healthy than injured. Tony Parker is playing. I'm not sure about Ginobili. They signed Tracy McGrady just like two three days ago. Um, I say Spurs win in six. I say the Spurs win in six games. The drama of the Lakers will be over. Uh, Black Bamba will strike again, hopefully at full strength next season. The uh the three six the three six is the Denver Nuggets who I consistently sleep on and don't know why, and the six C is the Golden State Warriors who are in the playoffs for the first time under Coach Mark Jackson. Um, you know Mark Jackson, former Pacer point guard man, you always got a root for Mark Jackson. Um, I mean. I love Kenneth Fareed, man. He's one of the, the up and coming stars in the league. Um Andre Iguodala is 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 nice. I don't think he has ever had like he's supposed to have been, but I don't think he's ever been the man like like people want him to be. Um this is gonna be the highest scoring first round series, word up. I'm telling every game is every game is gonna be like 115 to 108, you know what I'm saying, 120 to 117, um, and I only go with Denver in seven games because they have home court advantage, if if Golden State had home court, I'd pick Golden State, uh, four or five matchup, rematch of last season, home court is flip-flopped, Los Angeles Clippers is the four, Memphis Grizzlies is the five, um, Grizzlies had the best defense in, in the entire NBA, 
but I think out of every playoff team, they might sc- either the Grizzlies or the Pacers score the least per game. Um, Chris Paul over Mike Connolly, uh, Blake Griffin over uh, Zach Randolph, um, Mark Gasol over DeAndre Jordan, though. So I say Clippers. You know what I'm saying? Just I say I say Clippers in six. This one doesn't go seven. Um, just uh, Chris Paul figures out their defense and they and the Clippers advance, man. So uh, Eastern Conference playoffs, round one, one seed Miami Heat defending champion overall seed in the playoffs. If they make it to the finals, they have home court. Uh. Milwaukee Bucks, who Scott Skiles started as their coach, he resigned, I think, due to locker room issues, and they still made the playoffs, so props to Milwaukee. Um, I'm pretty sure that everybody, ESPN, NBA TV, newspaper columnists worldwide, are going to dick ride and say Miami sweeps. Just like just like the one the the one eight in the West, I say that Milwaukee wins Game Four, and I say that Miami wins in five games. Um, LeBron, Wade, Bosh, I mean they're stacked. Um, I mean I'm not too sure about the story. I think Brandon Jennings been running his mouth since the since the one eight been set or since the season been over on Wednesday. I mean hopefully he steps up because he's better than Chalmers. Uh, but who else do they really have besides him and Monte Ellis? And defensively, Wade will probably shut Ellis down. Um, that brings me to the 2-7. The 2-7, New York Knicks, Boston Celtics. I really wish that this was uh, this was flip-flopped and Boston was 2 and New York was 7 because after what's happened in Boston this past week, man, just the crowd would be so live and so repping their city. But that's not what it is. Um, surprisingly, the Celtics made the playoffs without Ray John Rondo, one of the top point guards in the NBA. Um, the scoring champ, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Raymond Felton, J.R. Smith, Tyson Chandler, um, I'm, yeah, J- Jason Kidd. Knicks Celtics, I see, I see the Knicks advancing. I mean, they just, Melo, Melo himself has just been too hot. Um, so I mean, a number of games, man. If if KG can keep Honey Nut Cheerios out of this series, I think I think the Knicks take it. The Knicks take it in, in seven. I think Boston pushes them, and and the Knicks, you know, what I'm saying the Knicks advance in a tough one. The the three six, the three six. This is I hate to say it, you know, what I'm saying because I'm a homer. I hate to say it, but this is probably the series in the entire first round that nobody gives two shits about. Um, the three seed Indiana Pacers, the six seed Atlanta Hawks, um, Al Horford, Josh Smith. Who does Atlanta really have? Um, the Pacers rested their starters Wednesday. As a team, the Pacers have played like shit since they won in Dallas. Hopefully, they can get that defensive mindset back, man. I say Pacers in five. Um, so that brings me to uh, to Brooklyn Nets, five C Chicago Bulls, and I mean I really don't even like these teams. Um, I, I think the mystery behind Will Derrick Rose play is out the window. So, but with that being said, man, I just. I say the only the only tr- real matchups that that Brooklyn has is, I mean the 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 stars. You know what I'm saying? Joe Kim Noah will hold his own with uh with Brook Lopez. Darren Williams is gonna eat. I Nate Robinson, whoever the Bulls start at the point alive. I say Bulls. I say Bulls are the the only road team to to advance in the entire first round, and they do that shit in six games. Um, that brings me to round two. Round two in the West, the Western Semis, OKC one, Clippers four. This this will be the series of round two. Um, I mean simply KD, 
and and Westbrook, and then you got um you got Chris Paul, you got Blake Griffin, um Jamal Crawford, who I ain't even shouted out yet. Um, I mean, I'm pro I'm probably gonna get my head bit off of this. Cause I know every all the gurus, the experts say OKC okay, in the finals. I'm calling the upset, Clippers over Thunder, six games. Um, yeah. So Spurs two, Nuggets three, Spurs with home court. I mean, this one could go five. This one could go seven. I'm gonna say seven. And do the home court, Spurs win. So round two in the East, one seed, one seed Miami Heat, five seed Chicago Bulls, and we all know how it went down between these two teams in the regular season. Miami Heat, blah blah blah, twenty seven games in a row, yak yak yak, went into Chicago and got their ass busted. Um, Miami has home court. Um, they 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 crank that shit up in the playoffs. And six games, Heat go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Two seed Knicks, three seed Pacers. Um, I just I feel I feel Frank Vogel and his defensive intensity is gonna get into the ass of the Pacers. And motherfucker, I'm from Indiana. You know what I'm saying? The Hicks beat the Knicks, and it's gonna be it's gonna be Pacers Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um. My Western Conference Finals is two C Spurs, four C Clippers, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like Popovich, this is gonna be like complete opposites, man. Can can the Spurs like, contain the Clippers? Can they hold Chris Paul? You know what I'm saying? Can they can they lock? Can they shut down the the running gun? Can they shut down the fast pace? You know what I'm saying? Can the Clippers play the play the game they want to play it? Play the game how they want to play it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Lob City. Can they can they have Lob City in San Antonio? And in, in the Eastern Conference? In the Eastern Conference, man, can 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 Paul George step up? Can Paul George show that he, you know what I'm saying, like belongs with the elite? You know what I'm saying? Um can you know can the Pacers go into Miami? Can they steal games like last year? Can they protect home court? Um you know, regular season, Pacers had Miami's number in Indiana. So, um, I mean, with that being said, man, my NBA Finals prediction is um, in the West, the L.A. Clippers. In the East, fuck, in the East, as a homer, you know, a as a fan, I want to see Clippers Pacers. But as a non-biased motherfucker talking sports, I think that it's going to be Clippers Heat in the NBA Finals. Um, that's it for me, man. Um, I mean, let me know what's good. Rep your team. Let me know who you think is going to be in the Finals. Let me know your round by round. Um, I mean, that's what it is, man. I hope y'all enjoy my shit. Stay tuned. Uh, check out my page, my pacers. Check out my pages on Facebook. Uh, Randy Little Movie Reviews. Randy Little Music. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the hate.